Hello everybody, it's me Nate, aka Devil Dog, and I'm back with another complete dungeon walkthrough, this time for Final Fantasy Online's new dungeon that just launched on patch 6.1. This is Alzadal's Legacy. It is a level 90 dungeon, requires an item level of 560 to enter, drops 560 level materia, and 575 level gear. Now when you first start off, the first set of trash mobs you deal with are really nothing out of the ordinary you can do large pulls there's really nothing to pay attention to other than just watch out from some occasional ground aoe's but burn down those trash mobs and get to your first boss your first boss is against the giant jellyfish monster ambujam now there's only a couple moves you have to deal with with this guy and i'll show them to you and explain how to you know survive them First up is Big Wave, which is nothing more than your standard issue room-wide AoE. You can kind of get a little bit farther away from the boss and it does a little less damage, but you know, pretty much just eat the damage, heal through it, and you'll be fine. Next up is the main move of this uh, creature is Tentacle Dig, where you will see him put his tentacles in the ground and start moving through the water in certain circular directions. Now this will indicate where these giant circle AoEs will appear on the ground, so just get away from where the circles are being drawn in the water to avoid the AOE. Keep in uh, mind as you progress through this battle, he will start doing it with multiple um, you know, circle AOEs. So just pay attention to where the water is flowing in what circle to get away from that area to find a safe spot to avoid eating damage. And the only other real move this guy seems to do is something known as Toxic Fountain, where it's pretty much a bunch of circle AoEs that will, will uh, appear on the ground in a specific order. What you want to do is get in a circle on the ground that appears last and wait for one of the earlier ones to detonate. That way you can move to it to get yourself to a safe area. Uh, you should be used to this uh, attack. This has been used in many other enemies at this point. So just pay attention to that. That's the only really moves you have to deal with with this guy and you can get on to your second set of trash mobs. Now as for your second set of trash mobs there's really not much to deal with. Once again you can pull them, burn them down fairly easy but there is one enemy you want to pay attention to known as the Alzadal's Rampart. It looks like a weird almost like door frame. Now if you don't burn that down that fast it will end up opening up and causing re uh, more reinforcement more enemies to attack you. So whenever you see those guys the Alzadal's Ramparts burn them down first but other than that that's really the only thing you have to deal with with these trash mobs and you can beat them and get to your second boss of this dungeon now the second boss of this dungeon is against the armored chariot he's pretty much got the same amount of moves as the first guy and i'll go over them with you First up is a move known as Articulated Bits, where these robot hands will appear around the area, the arena, and they will light up, and the boss will put up a shield. There will clearly be two spots in the shield that aren't up, and what you want to do is stand in the area that doesn't have a shield near the boss that is not near the hands that are glowing, because once this move goes off, it will pretty much send a big blast across the arena, uh, hitting where the shields are that the boss has is up. And as long as you're in the area where the boss does not have a shield up and away from the glowing hands, you will be okay. Next up is a move known as the Fusion Ray. It's your standard issue room-wide AoE, heal through it and you'll be okay. Now, uh, along with this is a move known as Rail Cannon. It seems to uh, go off kind of sporadically, uh, but not that often. It's just your basic issue Tank Buster Blast. So just heal the tank through it, you'll be fine. Now, keep in mind, as you progress through and burn the enemy, this boss down, it'll start adding um, AO spread, uh, AOE spread markers over top of you while it's also doing the articulated bits move. So it can kind of be a pain in the butt because some of the articulated bits moves that go off leave very, very little narrow place to stay to avoid taking damage. And then, like I said, it just compounds it with the AOE markers that you have to spread out to avoid pretty much giving everybody in your group group damage. But other than that, that's only the real moves that the Armored Chariot has. You can burn them down and get to your third set of trash mobs. Now, as for your third set of trash mobs, there's really nothing to deal with here. Nothing to worry about. Uh, none of those Alzadal's ramparts. Uh, pretty much just monsters. Group them up, pull them, burn them down, defeat them, and get to your th third and final boss of this dungeon. Thank you. 
Now the third and final boss is the, against the Looming Warden, and he's got a good amount of moves I'll go over. First up is a move known as, as Billowing Bolts, which is a room-wide AoE. Pretty much heal through it and you'll be fine. Next up is a really unique move called Spin Out, where he will pull you towards him, wrapping you up, and the floor will have random spikes that will pop up in it, and it'll start sending you flowing backwards spinning. And it's hard to control your guy because you'll have a little finger icon, and you gotta drift and control your character to avoid hitting the spikes. Next up is a move known as Cruel Slice, which is your standard issue tank buster. Heal through it, you'll be fine. Next up is a move known as Wild Weave, where these different colored curtains will drop from the ceiling and you'll start charging up a move known as Power Surge. And what you want to do is he will attach a tether to a certain colored curtain. You want to stand near a curtain color that is the opposite color of what he's tethered to before Power Surge goes off to avoid taking damage. Next up is a move known as Rotary Gale, where basically it's standard issue AoE markers placed on you. You just want to spread them out to alleviate the damage. Now, keep in mind, after he gets the 50% damage or less, he'll start adding moves together, like casting Spin Out. And uh, while he's doing Spin Out on you, he'll also jump to other sides of the arena and do a frontal AoE blast a couple times. This can be kind of tricky, and I myself died during this, uh, but... Honestly, once you figure out where he's going to go, uh, you can move your guy around to avoid taking too much damage and dying. Now, he also will add AoE markers on top of you also when he's doing the move Wild Weave as well. So you have to pay close attention to know which curtain to stand near. And as soon as it detonates, get away from the other players and spread out to alleviate that damage. As long as you do that, you'll have no problem in beating the Looming Warding and beating this dungeon and maybe get some sweet, sweet you know, item level drops of 575 gear. Please leave in the comments below if this video has helped you in any way whatsoever. If you feel I've left anything out of this video, um, honestly, please subscribe to my channel. It's been a while since I said that, but I kind of have to because the you know, YouTube algorithm demands it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if, this like, if you like this video. Please leave lots of comments below and I'll answer each and every single one of them. And I hope you're having a great time with Patch 6.1 of Final Fantasy Online. This was Nate, a.k.a. Devil Dog, and I always end my videos by saying, Have fun, play hard, and remember people, the devil is in the details. Peace out until next time. Hey, you nerds, it's Ogre. Ha! Nate! Devil Dog Gaming. Ha ha ha! A bunch of gosh darn nerds! That's what you guys are! I'll bet when you throw parties, you have ginger ale, pin the tail on the donkey, little pony rides, you know, little hats and blowies. That's what nerds do on their parties. And I ain't coming to that one, because I like to party like a big boy. Devil Dog Gaming people. Ha 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 ha! Hey, listen! Ponder this one while you're doing your devil dog gaming. <laughs> what if C-A-T really spelled devil dog? Oh, that'll take you a while to figure out, you nerds. <laughs> and remember, everyone, the devil's in the details. You nerds. <laughs> Enjoy your devil dog gaming. Ogre is out. Nate. Discord here. I don't know where you are, but I'm in Los Angeles, and I think you can see it in the background on a beautiful day. So when are we all going to get back together again? Who's to say? The devil is in the details. The devil is in the details. <laughs> yes, the devil is in the details. Wouldn't you say?